This is the creepy face tracking portrait. You're looking at an LCD monitor with just a nice frame around it, and it's hooked up to a Raspberry Pi Model B. That's the 512 megabyte memory version with the Pi camera. And you can see there's a skull that's being rendered. And if you look in the upper left hand corner, you can see that's my face right there. Um, and that's video from the Pi camera with face detection running through OpenCV. And as I move around, we should be able to see if it grabs my face. That the skull, it's turning to follow me. So I move around a little bit more. So you can see that it tracks my face. Uh, you can see the, the, the video from the camera. It's detecting faces every two seconds. It takes about 800 milliseconds or so for the face detection to run. Uh, so it's pretty good quality and decent latency. And this is the creepy portrait using a webcam, as you can see up there, instead of the Raspberry Pi camera. It's still hooked up to the Model B, just through a USB hub here. And you can see there's a little bit better field of view, so you can move around and the tracking still works just as well as it does with the Pi camera. And this is the creepy portrait running on my PC. Uh, it's using a little bit nicer webcam that has a much wider field of view. And you can see that it's basically perfectly real time. So as I move around, the skull follows me everywhere. And you can see the face detection is much quicker. And it's actually so fast that I have to apply some smoothing so that the face detection doesn't jump around that much. And you can also see there are a couple different models. So there's the evil pumpkin and then the happy pumpkin. And all of these follow you around. And then if you look a little bit closer, there's a little bit nicer shader that's doing some bump mapping when it runs on the PC. So that's the creepy portrait.